Hello everyone, welcome back to the second day for our Selenium live training. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with what we're going to do today. So like I've been saying team, uh, the focus is not on the PowerPoint. The PowerPoint I only use primarily to be able to drive you through what we do out here. Okay. Uh, now let's go back to the tool and try and focus on what we're doing there. So yesterday, if you remember, we went through um, a few test cases, not few, I think two or three test cases at a Selenium IDE level, right? And I'm going to open up that file and we're going to talk about the project one that we were uh, executing. So in this project one, we were looking at CarMax and we said for CarMax, let's try and design a couple of test cases. The first test case I've put at a detail level out here. The second test case, not yet. So what I've shown you is under tools, Selenium ID, once you do the installation of this tool by going to add-ons and searching for Selenium ID, and you will, or you can also download it directly from seleniumhq.org team. So if you go to seleniumhq.org, uh, some, some of the members were asking me about the download instructions. Uh, so you can go to the download tab under seleniumhq.org, and you could look at the Selenium ID and download the latest version. And then, uh, depending on your operating system, Mac or Windows, you will be able to have uh, an executable file to be running and installing it on your Firefox browser as an add-on. All right. Uh, what we did in Selenium IDE is we took a very basic view at how the IDE looks, the UI or the user interface. Uh, we only looked at primarily this section where the command target value was being presented, and then we looked at how we created multiple test cases out here and how we did some execution at a fast and slow space pace. Now, uh, what we will do is let's try and open those test case. What I did team is yesterday when uh, we did these three test cases, CarMax TC001, one trial one on Facebook and then CarMax TC002, I saved them as a test suite. So if I look at recent test suites, it should show up. I don't know why it's not showing up. Let me see if I can open a test suite. Don't save this, but open one. Selenium day one. Let's see if this one has. Oops. There you go. This one has. But I have been facing this problem for a while. See, for example, um, CarMax TC001 is not loading correctly. Team. Facebook, there's nothing there. TC002 has a few steps out here. At least we have uh, the next test case. So let us try and do one thing right now so that we follow a pattern of how we do things. I'm going to copy this and paste it out here. I don't know how many steps we have in the test case 2, but just the template I'm copying right now. I'm going to put it up here and let's talk about the test case 2. Do you all remember what the test case 2 was? I assume not all of us do remember. Okay, so what we're going to do team is very quick execution of this specific test case. Let us see how it executes. You'll be able to see it and then we'll be able to reproduce it. So it's going to go to find a car. Payment calculator is not found. Okay, so very good. We found an error out here. As soon as you see there's something that's coming up in red, not even red, it's more like a pink out here you will notice that something is not happened right. What is it? It could not execute a specific test step. So yesterday, if you remember team, um, we talked about a few tools. Let's see if I can open the recent ones. So we talked about automation, testing, then Selenium, the first way of teaching it is through record and run using IDE. The next way is to do your own scripting, custom scripting. We talked about efficiency, reusability, and accuracy. Um, so that's what this image is talking about. Let's go to the next image and see what we have there. Yeah, this is the one. So command target value. And we were trying to say that each of these have specific activities to do. Let's look at the other one. And here we spoke about command being a what. The what is it that you want to do? 
then target being where you want to perform that the address of that specific object and then value being any additional info that is required to execute it okay and then we spoke about objects very briefly which we will expand in today's session so what i wanted to mention here is one step failed so we asked selenium to do a certain activity it was to do a what what is the command click and wait what is click and wait it is as the name suggests you can also see under the reference as soon as you click on any specific uh, step and you look at the reference it will show you what it does okay so how is it that you will know all the different types of commands and what they do one by playing around like we're doing right now two also looking at the reference as we go along all right so at this point you will see that click and wait is clicks on a link a button checkbox or radio button if the click action causes a new page to load so primarily whenever we click on something it ex we expect it to get to a new page the link or whatever then it will say we will wait for that page to load okay that is what it will do okay now what it is trying to tell us is this step did not execute well it could be because of two reasons one is that the object is not present or we gave some wrong command out here so when i say object it is i'm object or element is the same thing team so please don't get confused by it object or element is exactly the same thing there is no confusion in that area uh, we've been using objects more often in qtp but we're talking about it as elements in uh, selenium so objects or elements as we call them um, are the same thing for now now what is the problem so when we get, went to carmax.com it tried to click on link payment calculator do you see a link called payment calculator out here no yesterday we were seeing it right yesterday it was out here somewhere today it is not there what does it mean the application changed something went wrong not something got changed the application but our test case did not change and that is the problem where is this where can i then find the um, payment calculator probably if i go under finance and say tools and calculators i may be able to see it out here so now do you see team it has now changed to a different one and it's called under financing uh, tools and calculators and that is where the payment estimate is coming up honestly team i was not aware of this change or i didn't know what really happened that this change got triggered or probably once we go to a used car and try and search for something that is when we'll be able to see a payment calculator so out here do i see no so let's go back to carmax now the home page i still don't see see this is what was there yesterday it was no it is no longer here so now I have to click not on payment calculators, but I have to click on tools and calculators. That is the change. So, to edit any step in the IDE, what we will do is we will use this section here. So, yesterday we didn't explore anything out here. Okay. So, the same command target and value are represented here vertically and you can change the command by writing it or selecting it from the drop down out here you can also change the target out here and any value that you want out here so let's say that instead of payment calculators the link now is tools and calculators we're going to change that to tools and calculators so now we are editing the test cases that we created yesterday next instead of the vehicle price being 45000 let us now change it to 55000 just experimenting playing around and we will save this test case and let us try to re-execute and see what happens okay now did it go to tools and calculators yes it did how do i know because all of these are green there is nothing in here that is red so as soon as we updated a certain information in the test case so remember we are supposed to be teaching and the better you are at teaching 
selenium what it has to do the better the output is going to be team okay so it's all about your ability to continuously teach it so this way you can go about editing uh, the um, applic the test cases that you create under your recording method so once you record that's fine but how do you edit them and that is what we do out here now so you've seen the log very briefly tells you what step it is executing if a specific error has happened it comes here under reference you will see any references that you have for that specific uh, element that uh, sorry for that specific command that we're talking about now let us talk about so this is what we do as a record and run so uh, you know what team just for a completion sake i want to take the steps and put it out there so uh, test case 2 is about Uh, it's not used car search it is payment calculator so the name I'm going to change payment calc I'll just quickly do this control C control V then go to carbanks.com that's fine then click on link or uh, click on tools and calculators link then enter vehicle price enter taxes and fees title taxes fees basically enter down payment so where is it that i am looking at to be able to identify what these steps are this is what is needed for element identification. So I want you to help answer this question for me, team. Where am I looking to be able to write these steps? Tell me, please, all of you. All of you reach out to the chat button and start typing. Tell me, where am I looking to be able to cleanly write all of this? Enter finance tenure or uh, duration. Then click calculate button it is coincidence that both test cases have the same number of steps just a coincidence but my question is still there i want to see and ask you where is karthik looking at to identify and write the steps down so i get a few things target target ide from command and target 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 okay where in target Am I looking at ID equals CTL02 underscore CTL01 underscore TXT? Any of this that I said, does it make sense to you, team? Yes or no? Does it make sense to you? I'm not looking at the site right now. I'm looking at IDE only and writing it. I didn't talk, I only talked about till TXT. Did it make sense to you? No. But it made sense to IDE. It made sense to Selenium. What made sense to us as humans? The next word, vehicle out here, title, taxes, whatever is there out here. Let's expand this a little bit, okay? Down payments out here, finance rate out here, and then calculate uh, is what we're trying to click on at that time. Now you see, team? So, there is a specific way that selenium will identify objects and there's a specific way that we will identify for us we will use english but what does selenium use selenium uses a few things team let me talk about that uh, how do i i'll close the ones which i don't need that way okay there you go so selenium uses a few ways to identify these objects okay there are something called as properties that every object or element so this is an object okay or element same thing two different references to the same thing and for them to be able to exist they need properties let us look at in a real life if i say i have a car okay how do you know what car i have to depending on some properties and the values to it there are property names 
and values to it what are the property names and values make of it model of it color of it license plate number of it win of it okay the um, then what else year manufacturing year of it all of this is used to be able to define that these are the names of the properties make model color license win the values for them is let's say we're talking about a honda and the make we're talking about let's say a accord and color let's say we're talking about black and license plate let's say a no one a b c i'm not going to write everything team i have to get a scribbling pad right now a b c two three four that's the number and win a big number these are the properties that are used to define an object team you change any of it the object will start looking or behaving differently for us not behaving primarily looking at least in fact even behavior let's say the engine type is it a v6 or how many cylinders are there cylinders uh six cylinder it comes in four cylinders also but what that specific object what is it so there are object properties that are used to identify an object and object properties that are used to describe an object all right let us say that I am addressing an audience. In fact, such a great feeling team. When I see there are over 150, 200 participants in each of the sessions, it's very nice to know because the people care to join, people care to listen, there's a specific value to it, and so on. When I see the audience right now, and let's say that if it's a live audience uh, in a conference hall, in a in a in in person, not online. So to identify, I may not know all the different names for each of you because there's so many of you right but i can describe hey gentlemen there third row um and wearing the red shirt or black shirt that's how i'm able to do it so there are properties that you can use to identify and properties that are used to describe okay so every object needs a specific description that gives the shape to that object okay so let's say that there's a person who's weighing 200 pounds the other person is weighing 150 pounds so the frames are different they look different but the weight is a property the value is deciding how the person looks hair is hair color is a property name value is black blonde beige red gray whatever is the value to it which is deciding how that person looks that is how you try and identify prop objects by using the properties. Now, then there are something called as methods that you can perform on the properties. That's very simple. That's just like our command. What is it that you can do? On a car, you can drive it, you can park it, you can uh, tow it, you can turn it, you can back it, forward speed, so many other things you can do. Human, talk to a human, write to a human. Uh, have a cup of coffee with a human there's so many things you could do depending on the person correct that is how you decide what the methods are there that you can perform now let us get to the world of objects in an application what does selenium do to identify these objects i'm going to close this tab which we don't need what it does is very simple team it looks at how the developers have built this specific application how did the developers build this application they created a html code for it the end output for whatever is displayed on a web application is a html code it could have been used by done by dotnet or java or asp or c sharp or does not matter the technology php and so on end result is we still getting a html file so if you right click on any of these and say view page source you will see the entire html file what selenium does is it searches for this property names and values out here all right so the property names and values that is what selenium searches for out here so if i say new and i go here we are talking about element element i'll just say ele attributes 
attributes are nothing but the names of those properties and the values for it this is what we need to note in now let's take as an example one of these objects vehicle price is it not very tough for us to go through this entire long code and find where vehicle prices you change anything in this code, the application starts looking differently. That is why we have a better way of um, identifying the exact code for that object. And that is right click on that object from your Firefox or in fact even your Chrome these days or IE. They are coming up with all these inspect elements in every uh, latest versions of the browsers. And you can see something called this inspect element or the option of inspect element with Firebug. If you don't have Firebug team, you can go to uh, the website called getfirebug.com and click on this install Firebug and it will install the latest version of Firebug onto your Firefox again as an add-on. Okay, it's these are all add-ons that you have with Firefox. Similarly for Chrome and so on, there'll be others. So for example, the current stable version is 2.0.7 and you can uh, download it out here and install it directly into your uh, browser and it'll start showing up. So as soon as you do that, when you right click on any, what is this team? What is the one I'm circling on? I'm unfortunately not able to draw, but what is it that I'm circling on? Yes, it's a text box. What else? Object, basic object or an element. That is what it is. Okay. Now you right click on that specific element that you want to identify. How will you teach Selenium to do it the right way? You should first know how is it learning things? How is it doing things? And that is what we're trying to do out here. Right click and click on inspect element with fire. What happens suddenly to your browser is a new pane comes up at the bottom and that is giving you a great view to the code but it highlights and goes to the specific code where the details are there for that specific element or object. Now if you notice this is the whole code for this element team. So I'm going to copy this entire thing and paste it into let's say a word file there you go so now i've got that entire code and placed it out here this is one of the html uh, pieces of the code that you will see that go grows up to be building the entire website team now from this code do you see anything that matches with the vehicle price that we have here? What are the two things that match team? One is ID equals CTL02 blah 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 vehicle price. Here also ID equals CTL02 blah 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 vehicle price. What is the second thing that matches that you see please? What is the second thing that matches that you see between these two frames? Fifty-five thousand. Exactly. The value. The type does not. The command. The, okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> You're right. Type also shows here, but this type here and this type here is different thing. This type is actually the verb type typing like a typewriter on a keyboard that type that's a command type it's a verb type this type out here is a noun type what type is this field what is this html element of is it a web is it an edit field a radio box a checkbox and so on okay that is a different one we are i was looking at 55000 and that value is out here now go to the application change this to let's say uh, or let's go here to this code okay and change this to 50,000 do you see automatically the code getting changed here do you see that team anytime you change information out here in the firebug uh, window that you've got automatically it'll start showing the change in the application so if 
you all go to carmax.com and so on so on out here will it do the same at your end also what change i make will it reflect at your end team this is where the basic concept of internet will come and trust me it is as simple as how does how how okay let me ask you this very basic question team this is where i want you to uh, understand how many of you know the answer to a full moon half moon quarter moon no moon how does it form how many of you know i'm just asking just simple question do you know how does a moon become full half you can only see half of it quarter of it and so on tell me the answer please after 15 days okay <laughs> waxing waning hima i don't know what that is resvi rotation of earth no i don't know selenium work only with firefox <laughs> Look at the question I ask and the answer I get. <laughs> Depends on the sun, earth, and moon. Great. <laughs> When earth comes in front of moon, that becomes an eclipse. <laughs> Shadow of moon, that's again an eclipse. Rotation of earth, no. <laughs> Depending on rotation of sun and earth, no. I am not getting a single answer, team, so far. <laughs> how do you see a full moon half moon partial moon how do you see it depends on our view <laughs> it doesn't depend on our view everyone in this continent in this earth will see the same type of moon it's not like us is going to see a full moon today <laughs> and russia is going to see half moon same day <laughs> next day <laughs> with a rise with a rise by eyes no Yes, you. I. You right. We will see it with the rise. But how does it happen, Alan? The number of days on the sky eclipse <laughs> after 15 days, depending on Earth's axis. Guys, I am so happy. <laughs> I am like laughing out loud out here right now by looking at the sky at night. Sunlight. The amount of sunlight reflected. The position of the moon. No. <laughs> this is this is how you get these answers when you ask the question team and i don't even know what i was trying to refer to but what you are seeing is it's not position of where you are seeing from moon from no that's why i'm saying smitha it doesn't matter if i'm seeing from us canada europe australia it'll still be a half moon at the same time okay maybe my night half moon australia night also half moon you are seeing the night and day of the moon you are seeing what part of the moon is day what part is the night all right so the dark portion is that half portion which is complete in the darkness it is not facing the sun the other portion is the day of the moon that is facing the sun and when it's a black or if no moon day or night you are actually seeing only the night portion of the moon where the moon is facing the night now you understand all right now i don't even remember why i asked that question but basically oh yeah now i remember um if i change the code here now did i answer the question team it was a very important one a lot of us don't even know why or what we don't ask those questions and there's so many questions in life that when you look at it we just assume ah oh, okay okay this is how it is of course yeah it's a night it's a it's a full moon it's a half moon it happens sun comes in between of earth and moon earth and sun moon or earth comes in between those are eclipses guys all right i just want you to think about everything and ask the question why what and so on okay now i am asking you the question if i change the code here will it change on the application so carmax.com is getting changed for everyone on the internet okay so it is no but why is it no i'll tell you okay let's say this is the internet globally okay now everyone i am here if i want to access a carmax website the carmax website is hosted on a server out here the code from that server will get downloaded onto my local machine 
and what I'm seeing is my local machine. So even if carmax.com server dies right now, it gets crashed, I can still access it offline because it has already downloaded the entire HTML code that is enough to access it. If I click on a new link, it may not go to that link. That's a different story because the server is down. But whatever you've downloaded is accessible. Now, when you make a change to anything using Firebug, you're changing it on here. So if there's a different person that is accessing the information, he or she is not getting the information from your local machine. It is getting it from the server again. They'll take the latest version from the server and the website will get displayed. So when will the website change? When a developer out here is changing it on the server. That is when. All right. So when you change something out here, it is not going to change. But what is it that is there in this code that is becoming very important for us to understand? So I put it in here. There are two things, three few things that you have to remember, team. Okay. The, the first thing that you have to remember is the HTML tag. Okay. HTML tag. The next one is HTML attribute. Then attribute attribute value. Now, for each of the field, this is what you should do as an exercise team. Fill out what the tag is, attribute is, value is. The tag is the first word or character that you'll see after the less than symbol. The less than, greater than, basically says that this is one element within HTML code. All of this is encompassed within one element okay now the tag for this one is input this is the tag for this for the next one the attribute is this out here something equals something something equals something something equals something so attribute is id value is whatever is there here okay now the tag will remain the same, but the attributes and the values will change. Like saying, very simple, just like we are trying to say a team, like car, and we are trying to say the attribute is make, not males, make, and the value here, instead of being so and so, will be Honda, or let's say Porsche. Okay? Similarly, you have one more class, and then you have type long oh sorry text long that is the values so what you see before the equal to symbol is the attribute name what you see in the quotes after that is the attribute value prop just like pat property name and property value and similarly there is also a html attribute out here called value and what we have out here is 55,000 in there. All right. And these define the properties of this specific object. You change any of it and the property will start changing for that object. Now, to identify any object, what Selenium does is it uses ID or name or it gets into a concept of XPath or CSS, one of these. Okay. Typically, it will start with an ID or a name. That is the level one. I level one identification. It will see if there is an ID or a name. Level two identification is it, we, it will ask for an XPath to be generated. These days, almost all objects come up with a specific ID or a name to it. So, for example, if you go to the next one, there is an ID and a value to it. Attribute is ID, value is this, and that is how it is identified. It is enough for it to identify it. But if you go down here to click button, it says CSS equals image, alt, so and so, blah, blah, blah. It's a bigger one. It's a little bit, seems to be a little bit more complex out here, right? This is the way it gets into the identification of different elements when we do a record. Now, when we do our own way, 
of creating a specific test case when we write it ourselves we will have to talk about either an id property or attribute or a name or an xpath or css to be able to identify them and you have to be familiar with all of them too id is very easy you will see it directly out here but sometimes ids can be misleading because they did a, a bad developer unfortunately for our lives of making it worse has put two uh, objects with the same ids and there'll be a clash and you don't know which one you're pointing to okay so you should be able to realize which one is causing an issue for you at that time all right now um the way we will identify objects is very simple as i said id or name or xpath and cs now let us take a simple exercise and create a new test case i'm going to save this test case and we will create a new test case and i'll call this as car max pc 003 and here i will start writing our own test case we will not do a record thing okay we will not do a record we will write our own test case let's talk about a test case called sign in okay so first we will start with the basic carmax.com i'll do a little bit of cheating team i will look at the other test case also to see how a few of them looks and then we will do a few of them so that's evenly there for us and we are not really confused about everything okay so the first one is to go to carmax.com the base url is there all i have to say is open and target is this is just a slash there so i'm going to say go to test case 003 and here i'm going to say the command is open and what is the target just a slash okay no value to it next we will have to click on the sign in does click take time to load as a page yes so we have to click and wait so here i'll say click as soon as we start typing do you see this coming up here and wait all right so team what we are learning right now are writing our own custom code in selenium id rather than a record the record is turned off notice that now what do you want to do click and wait that is the what portion where do you want to do it target is this sign in and the sign in is a link in fact in this i have to also put link if it's a link we can directly give the name of the link and so on so here i have to say link equals sign in am i sure that that is correct i am not yet sure but if i go to test case 2 and try and cheat and see click and wait link equals tools and calculators it is following the same standard procedure for test case 3 and team i will tell you this even today when i write new code and i get stuck with even a small thing i don't try and waste my time i go to google and i cheat and i ask for for example convert a string to double i work with three or four programming languages i always get confused with some of these commands i can't store every command in my brain but what is very important that i know and i'm very good at and i'll teach you all is to find a good solution quickly for any problems that you get and that is how you'll keep on executing brilliant codes over code okay and team i'm talking at coding i'm talking about we will do coding there's no question about it but it'll be easy it'll be brilliant it'll be so beautiful for you that you'll really like it now do i know for sure that this is the way click and wait i actually got it from this drop down so i know i didn't make a mistake here but again unless we run it we don't know how about target link equal sign in we don't know what you should do is click on find find will let you highlight that object there do you see that find yes now you know that you're coming there sign in so i will perform that step sign in now the next step is to enter an email how do i know wait wait what to do here so what do i want to do team enter text enter text why is it not coming up text not coming up hmm, what do i do then the command enter or text is not coming team uh, or set set something something i'm getting but i'm not getting what i want what do i do 
no problem go back to the previous test case and see or record and see till when you'll keep doing that till the time you learn it that's it once you learn it you're there so to put a value into edit field you need to use the type command and we will use the type command out here now the what is done what is the where how do you identify the where this is where we look at the code and find out if I have an ID, a name, a link, or shall I use an XPath or CSS and so on. Now, if I right click on this specific object, I hope I'm recording this session, right? Yes. If I right click on this specific object and go to inspect element with Firebug, the window will open up and I'll get the entire code. All I will do, team, is I'll copy this entire code. I will not make any assumptions and read in a small pane. I will get it to this bold big characters out here and put it. Now, HTML tag is what? All of you, it is input again. HTML attribute for the first one is ID. It's attribute value for ID is email address. All right. So this one already seems to be having an ID and a value to it. So do you see the level one identification? ID or name or link if it's there, we will use it as is. So here now the where portion all I have to say is ID equals email. And be very careful of the uppercase, lowercase. Use it as is. Java and especially this element identification, everything are case sensitive. So it will get offended if you don't use the proper upper and lower cases team. Now, am I sure about it? No. How will I check? Two ways. One, go back to the previous test case and see how we did. ID equals the value. No quotes here. Here, what did I do? ID equals value, but in quotes. I don't know yet. But what I will do, team, is I will select that and I'll say find. Let's see if it finds it. What is it doing? It is not doing anything. When I went to sign in and I said find, it found it. But now it is not. But if you go to log, it will show you what it is trying to do. It's saying locator not found. ID equals email address. What is the problem? How do we know what is the problem? How do we fix it? Sometimes there is no definite solution team it is a trial and error oh i think it was supposed to be on lower cases find still a problem do you see the log out here below it is showing you locator not found hmm. what is the problem probably not double quotes single quotes find still a problem you know what i think we should not use quotes at all find still a problem now what do i do See, you keep on trying, you'll reach a dead end sometime. But have you tried all the combinations? Hey, you know what? It was actually uppercase E and uppercase A. I did a wrong first step initially, and that's why I went into that cycle. Now find, now do you see it? Highlight. So there are only two ways for you to find solutions, team. Trial and error, or keep looking and learning from what we have done so far, or do a record and run and or search in google okay so either way we will find a solution to it worst case we'll say not automatable we cannot automate it i didn't even know if i use the right word but you cannot automate it we will leave it aside no problem we'll give up on a lot of things but the fact that we should know now am i done with this step or is there something else am i done with this step or is there anything else to type yes we need to enter the value to it did you forget the value what email address karthik at itelearn.com if i don't press say the email address how will it enter right same thing for password now you guys help me right click inspect element with firebug we got the information here but here i have not yet gone here and i'll say type and the value out here i see the whole thing so now if you're not if you're sure then we will say that we will use it as these uh, or we will copy the whole thing again and follow the same procedure to be doubly sure so i'm going to copy and i will put it out here do you see team 
for this input id email address and password they've used id and a name also so which one will we use we've used id let us try the name how about name equals password and click on find what is happening nothing is happening out here what is it should show me error right go to log now it will show you the error name equals password is not correct oh so name is not working right only id will work is that the right assumption we should at least learn from what we did earlier to this right learn from your own mistakes that's the other important thing that you should all know we've already seen that you should not use quotes out here why are you using quotes and now we have learned to blame something else saying that name is the problem id is what we should use that is they're not the right approach thing so you should get smarter as we do it and i've already getting answers a lot of you are involved into it you're giving the answers that's absolutely right let's see fine now there you go perfect had this not been found i would have been hunting for myself what's happening but team i never get worried when i fail at automating or so because my approach is very strong okay the way i try and approach things and the way i try and um, identify the probable root causes eliminate the unrelated causes and then try and arrive at a solution is what is strong finally what's the step team click on sign in once we've entered the password oh we didn't enter a password so one two three qw let's say is the password value is out here i'll put it here okay now click on the sign button right click inspect element with firebug let's see a is the html tag in fact i should have asked you team i should not have said this it was supposed to be for me to ask you what is the html tag for this element a now is there a id or a name yes id sign in is there so first what do we do on this team we click do we have to click and wait yes why because a new page will load so that's why you have to use click and wait and here what i do id equals no more mistakes okay because we have done it two times three times this time no quotes no upper lower cases errors id equals sign in click on find and see if it works you know what it's not working team go to log and see is it saying locator not found colon id equals sign in it is not saying that here but it is blinking something here but it's not blinking on the application it is blinking but unfortunately this is green the blinking also is coming up as yellow green it is kind of overlapping we're not able to see okay so i'll tell you this team sometimes we'll find the right solution but our eyes will deceive us and say that you know what we overlook it keep an attention for detail your eyes should look at the details of things it should not look at oh quickly here quickly there this that it is not an attribute for a great test engineer or even any engineer for that matter every engineer must have a very good eye for detail okay so now id equals sign in this is done so fine now this is coming up here good this is getting highlighted this is getting highlighted which got hidden by the colors but this is good any value that i have to put into it no you just have to click on it now we have developed a new test case by ourselves without having to write it okay by this way you are identifying car max tc003 and say save by this way you are identifying how to identify and write your own things using selenium id team so now i'm executing it so let's see if it clicks on sign in it has done everything but there's an error that came up what does that mean my automation is incorrect correct am i right or not i've executed everything unfortunately it went on in a very fast way let us do that again and see why this error is coming why is this error coming you should tell me now sign in enters the email very good enters a password it's said in very good clicks on sign in also it says remember password also uh, as expected it comes up with firefox or any latest browsers but why does it keep saying your email address and password do not match please try again i'm giving right but i don't have an account yet that is the problem and the credentials are incorrect so sometimes your command is correct your target is correct what could be wrong team your values may be incorrect so an issue can happen anywhere you don't give the right command you don't give the right identification for that element or you don't give the value correct 
when you know that all of these are correct, then tell the application is a problem. Till then, never blame the application. Okay? You got to start eliminating what could be causing it. Once you eliminate all the other causes, then we will say application is at fault. Okay? Otherwise, we will look like sheep later. It will become very um, uh, you know, embarrassing for us to see that, oops, my mistake, I'm sorry. I unfortunately raised a wrong defect. Okay, we don't want to get to that scenario. And trust me, team, we will get into that a lot of times in my career. No problem. You have to also know how to face it. I'm sorry. I've learned it. I will not do it. I mean, now we will make sure that we'll get better at it. I'm sorry we caused the trouble. Let's move on. That's it. Done. All right. All right, team. So that's it for today's session. I uh, wanted to talk about expats also. Unfortunately, I didn't get enough time. But I'm going to show you the content that I want you to watch before day three. Day three is going to be in the next Monday. You have about five days to watch a few videos and then come back to the next session. In the meanwhile, if there are any uh, questions, please start putting them in the chat. I'll take 10 minutes to start answering them, team. Now, go to this specific link. Go to itelearn.com, click on online courses, you will see Selenium training videos. Out here, you will see all the videos that are there. There are hundreds of videos, team. There are almost 150 or more videos from the library, all the different batches that I've been doing. Okay. What you should do is just go quickly to Selenium training videos out here. All right. There are multiple videos that have been done. Uh, though they might be old, they're still very good. So Selenium ID basics, this is what the five videos out here. This is what we've been doing right now. So if you click on it, I have not signed in. That is why this is not coming up. If I log in from my account. So team, while I'm doing this, please, I request you to start putting your questions in so that it will start showing up for me. So Selenium ID basics, there are a few out here. There are three videos which are free. In this three videos, you will see the video for XPath also okay so there are three videos out here so playlist if you look at selenium tutorial 3 has is about an hours video on youtube and this video will have an explanation about xpath and so on there are many videos that i've created after this you will also start seeing some of them okay uh, so this video you should definitely watch everyone and uh, where can i put this here Okay, I put it in the chat uh, before you come to the next session. Now, what other videos I would like you to watch are the remaining IDE basic videos which is missed. You can watch it out here. Okay. And then you can watch a little bit about these videos. Don't worry about this eclipse and all these videos right now. We'll get to it after next week's sessions. Okay. So team, my intent is to try and take you from a granular level and make sure that you understand the basic foundations and that is when we can build all of these after this. Once we skip these, it will become tough because then we will keep going back and forth, back and forth and so on. So this, the good thing about this live webinars is that it will go in a specific organized sessions and you can follow a schedule and make sure that you all you have to do is stay along with me through the journey, attend the sessions as per the schedule and you'll automatically start seeing all the solutions coming to how you can become a master at Selenium. Okay, so for now, just try and watch the videos on whatever showing. There is, in fact, let me look at this team. One second, hold on, please. Selenium ID fundamental free videos. This is what I had done earlier. Hmm. Not this one. So team, if you have questions, please start putting them in the chat. I'll start taking it right after what I'm trying to see out here. Okay. Selenium bytes. There you go. Free videos. Day 3 to day 12, day 1 to day 7. Day five. What is this? Web driver, keyword, ID fundamentals. The 
this is a live project one day master class this is okay so the videos that i've showed you earlier that is fine in the link to watch and come back um, that will be more than enough just get an idea on how the xpath works how you identify using xpath and so on that will be very good team all right so questions uh, let me quickly take any of the questions i hope sincerely team all of you have enjoyed the session so far these two sessions if you have the time the schedule and the intent to learn you should do it so before i end this now i'm going to ask you two questions uh, that I want a quick poll on and then it will really help me to get a good gauge of the audience the feeling and so on So what if in 30 days you become a master at selenium, right? That's the question right team and I just want to know that your conference level the answer is that will be awesome for your professional career or No way you can't do it in 30 days These are the only two choices you have team. So I want you to understand I want I want to understand what your feeling is what the audience feels and You can also put it in the chat team and tell me what do you think the audience feels there are over 150 participants in this session So you'll get a good majority from everyone which is where so what do you think do you think 20% feel no way 30% feel no way? How many percent do you think? It's almost like the power of 10 game. How many percent do you think will say? Um, no way about 20 55 10 23 10 5% 30 35 so how many people do you think will be no way team just one answer and whoever gets the best one i will announce their name will get the correct one closer one 0 1 30 10 60 to 70 20 give a number team okay let me tell you it is under 10 i'm going to close the poll now 80% voted it is under 10 but i'll not share the results one number under 10 Seven, five, ten. <laughs> I'm just getting you guys involved into the conversation. Nothing else, team. Okay, so I've got a few. I'm going to share the results. So I've got correct answer from few of you, and that is Raji Mahesh, Padmaja Adepalli, Alan. Uh, anyone else gave six? Someone gave sixty, but no one else gave six percent. So only six percent of you believe no way, and I want to challenge. Uh, the six percent alan says hi i win that's great so i want to challenge the six percent also that you can all you need to do is go through a journey in a very organized fashion and i'm sure you will do you love automation last question uh, by these two sessions is it exciting you all right yes like you karthik means i love automation i want to see if you love automation okay and the other one is not yet so the same again one more thing for you all saying what will be the percentage that will say not yet do you love automation yes or no see because see once you start liking something automatically you start enjoying it so i've got about 72 percent votes in team i'm waiting for a few more and then i will give you the task of telling me what could be the percentage team that like you karthi doesn't mean saying that you like me <laughs> it says that you love automation just like i do all right all right, so team, 78% votes in. I'm going to get to it. This is a very serious comment because it's loving something. Once you love something, you'll get going into it. You'll make sure that you'll go the journey and enjoy it. So 81% votes. I'm going to close the poll. I'll not share the result. The, it is between 20 and 10. So let's see who gets the right number. 0% for not yet, Sunila. <laughs> So 20 and 10 is what I said. Wow, I've got so many right answers. All right, team. So let me tell what the right answer is. A uh, lot of you have come. So share results. There you go. So let's see who's got the right answer. You know it. Let me take the names. Uh, I'll start with uh, the first one. Padmini Ram, Yash Ruparel, Binaya. So there are a lot of people closer to 12 and 14. I'm not taking their names. Tarek Hassan, Sridhar Raju Somala, Praveen Kumar, Sunaina Prabhakar. Uh, don't like automation 15 person is not correct. Uh, Neelima Mittapali. That's it. <laughs> All right, team. There you go. So great. Very nice to know. I want you to understand what the audience feels. Okay. So people have started to love automation already, and people have also started to understand that 
um, if in 30 days you can become a selenium master and if you go in this direction i'm sure you will be and you have also already answered me and said that yes 94 percent of you told me 94 percent of a poll that you take in an audience of over 150 is a great poll team is a great result that talks a lot okay so now let me go back to the questions that are unanswered can you please take a minute and copy the own question paste it so that i know that there are no questions that i didn't answer what is the fee for this course okay krish i typically don't get into the sales aspect because i'm 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 great at sales just to all just to let all of you know but just the fact that i don't want to be selling my courses they sell by themselves go to the pricing you'll see it this course uh, must uh, the live sessions training is 400 dollars just letting you know okay uh, what else can i answer uh, your way of teaching is so good. Thank you, Rajesh. I appreciate it. Is Code Java different from Advanced Java concepts? Not really. Code Java is level one. You step onto it and then you start building from there. You can't get into Advanced until you complete Code Java. And what we need is essential Code Java, the right things. And then as you go, as your project goes, then we build onto it. Why we need to use Firebug when we have Inspect Element by default? Very good question. So let's go to Inspect Element. And see how is it different so i go here to password and i right click and say inspect element okay so you will see that the inspect element shows you the same code now right click on this specific section and see what it shows right click on this and it says edit as html copy inner html copy outer html blah 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 but on the inspect element using firebug this is firebug team this icon if you right click you will see a few more options the top one says xpath css path so automatically the identifiers can be taken from here the next ones that you'll see are commands that you can use on this what are the different uh, commands that you can perform on this will automatically start showing up out here as you start using some of them all right that is the reason we use firebug okay all right next question uh, this whole course will get finished by what date i am assuming the 6th of feb or so team but it may get extended by another 10 days because my intent is not to rush through the topics i don't come prepared to into any sessions i take it very organically i go through the flow and i make sure that everything is getting covered so sometimes i get extended so max by mid of feb about mid of feb is what i'm assuming yes at times the page does not load quick enough the scripts run faster resulting in failure what should i do you should wait for that session where we come to that sunaina but basically you have to find out how the application is behaving and use click and waits or thread and uh, sleep your thread using your java code or you make sure that you put it into a small loop saying has it loaded has it loaded has it loaded and then get out of it okay are you going to cover uh, selenium rc and grid also no I'm not going to cover as part of the live. Selenium RC has become a little redundant with WebDriver. However, there are good videos already done and created on RC. Selenium Grid may not be applicable for me to show because I don't have a grid network to really run and show it to you. However, I have done the videos. They have been done and nothing has changed on grid uh, methodology since then. You can access it from there. So that is where team, there are certain things that I may not go into as part of the live. If I do that, it will take about three months for us to do it. But I'm getting you to the all that important things immediately and then uh, empowering you with the tutorials that you can keep uh, offline for you why is the target why was the target for entering the password field different than email address that is putting name equals password instead of id equals password okay i just tried two different approaches first i used id then i used name so i'm just showing you alan that we could use two different approaches that's it uh, id or name is fine but unless you put them and click on find you don't know about it is it possible to copy the whole uh, copy whole code and paste in target whole code and paste in target yes uh, it is but not the whole code like this either xpath or what we show here not the whole thing because it expects it in specific format and it is looking at it in a specific format i told you right selenium is an idiot it is only as powerful as you are you have to give it all the power by teaching it after that it will take off Karthik, will you please let me know how to get those word files one more time uh resvi hossein i don't know which word files you're referring to please let me know team there are at least another 20 questions i'm trying to quickly go through them let's see i'm full-time working still i can be done by 30 days expert lakshmi 
you need okay 30 days spending about 10 to 15 hours a week is what i'm saying if you spend about 50 60 hours in these four five weeks you'll become very good at it 15 20 hours is my lecture another 25 30 hours is going to be your practice that is what you need you need at least about 50 60 hours you'll become very very good but you need to go in the right flow right direction click and wait how is the time decided click and wait is very simple click wait for the page to load wait for the page to load wait for the it'll keep on checking for the page to load once the page loads then it goes to the next step after this selenium course are you going to start the live project too yes right after the project we right after this training i'll put you all into a project and you'll start executing things in CardMax TC002, you just enter link equals tools and calculators. Is it not necessary to instruct Selenium the tools and calculators under finance option on top? Very good question. So, Mamta, your question is, uh, I didn't say that this specific uh, uh, link is under something, right? So, if it's under financing tools and calculators, I just said tools and calculators. What happens is it does not look at the UI. It looks at the code. So, it will go to the view page source and it does a control F and it finds where is tools and calculators and see if it is a link how does it know if it's a link the links have a html tag a for anchor text and that is how it picks it up and team what can be really good for you to learn additionally apart from what i'm teaching are the html basics the best source to learn this is w3schools.com yes i also have some good tutorials on it learn you can go to itelearn.com and see some free videos that i have on html basics and that could help you so if you go here and you look at um, html videos you'll find some videos that will really help you all right team let me see any more questions that i could quickly go through how can we precise simple java i'm not i'm not getting into yet name equals password so i've answered that what plugins uh, no can we have a class at 6 p.m pst so sandy gregory uh, just to answer your question the 7 p.m i've kept it i know for a lot of people in the east coast and you won't believe there are people even attending from australia uk india everywhere so there are people across the globe attending this webinar i want to be able to find a right time i hope i will so it's going to be either at 6 p.m pacific or 7 p.m pacific depending on what is best suited for most of the audience team uh backslash in the open section binaya we entered just a backslash with the tool recognized yes that's how the tool works what is the pricing for live demo session 19th jan to 6 feb that is the one such in 400 dollars thing does it learn provide placements different question how many classes will be there for the project um there'll be a lot of classes project is going to be under 50 to 100 hours you will be doing most of the work there not me but it'll be so superb that you'll enjoy it just working with everyone else team when are you planning to update the selenium videos with latest sessions i'm already doing it whenever i do the latest sessions i upload it there so the latest versions are always there um arvind that was for you is it possible to copy the whole code and paste in target no yes i've answered that how to handle pop-ups different question later there's a solution already in the existing video so you can look through them as well what plugins do i need to download uh, nothing apart from what i've showed so far uh, but as you go along a lot more which framework later um okay thank you but one more question what is the difference between java and jnet later we team again there are questions that are relevant very important your questions deserve an answer but later just because we want to stick with the current flow i'm loving the class you're very good thank you thank you mamit uh, which framework are you teaching going to teach uh, data driven keyword driven uh, if if chance permits or even hybrid how extensively you cover java with selenium teaching uh, whatever extent you need to so team um i think i'm towards the end of it and i don't see any other classes that are related to what we have done so far um so i believe we can end that here can existing members attend this course absolutely yes padmaja uh, but just make sure that you talk to the team uh, so that you get uh, them to uh, sign off and because what happens is we already have a list of people about 70 75 members who are prepaid others will get cancelled so i don't want you to get cancelled you can coordinate with the team thank you everyone thank you so much for your patience thank you so much for your participation your involvement and i hope you enjoyed the sessions and i hope you're gonna uh, see the benefits of how we go forward with it either way it does not matter to me. once you love automation it's with me without you, me by yourself 
choose how you want to go and get into it you like it okay i wish you all all the best uh, whichever way you decide to go and we are here to take care of you from it learn come back to us next monday we will continue with day three and we'll make sure that um, uh, we go through the schedule uh, with a little bit more speed so that we catch up on whatever topics is not done thank you so much everyone thank you so much have a great week ahead have a good night good day depending on where you're joining take care god bless bye everyone